We are here today to check out some more cricket. But should we just call it like Cricket Tuesday or something like that? <laughs> cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. It's so true though. Okay, well first so of all, true. Mitch Johnson, Brett Lee, MS Doney, with all that boring stuff out of the way, this is a very important, <laughs> momentous occasion. Hello, Boring View Nation, gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time you switch the screen off, I don't want you to, what are you doing to me, man? What are you doing to me? <laughs> he does it on purpose, folks. He does it on purpose. Absolutely. Anyway, Nick and I are back once again to bring you another installment of Cricket, Cricket Tuesday. Tuesday. And Nick, tell everybody what we're watching today. We are checking out a request here. Let me pull it back up. I do not have the person's name, but this is a video showcasing Sanath Jayasaraya, his 122 versus Australia in 2002-2003 at the SCG. And Sanath is a Sri Lankan cricketer and former captain of the Sri Lankan national team. Considered as one of the greatest attacking batsmen of his era, Jaya Saraya is well known for his powerful striking and match-winning all-round performances in ODI cricket. He was also a key member of the team that won the 1996 World Cup and part of the team that made the finals in 2007 World Cup, 2009 ICC World Cup 2020. Ooh. He retired in 2007. He ran for public office in 2010 and was elected to the parliament from his native Matara district. So this whoa, guy whoa, whoa. has whoa, done quite whoa, a few whoa. things, and he goes into politics. Whoa, 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 whoa. First and foremost, listen, you never trust a politician. There's two things in life you just you hate. Let's just be honest. Umpires and politicians. Lawyers are up there, too. But umpires and politicians. Just saying. Let's be real. All right? I, I like you were going to say, like, criminals or something along those lines. Bro, criminals are people too, okay? But umpires and politicians. Oh, <laughs> umpires and politicians, oh, all right? God. Just say it. Just say it. And listen, here's the thing. A criminal, at least you know they're a criminal. You're prepared for it. But politicians, they stick you with the pen, all right? They stick you with the pen. How am I prepared for a criminal? And they're and those golden and those golden uh 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 what do you call them those golden tongues that they have all right they 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 got satin tongues bro they can turn you know anything a uh, dog poop into diamonds as they say all right you don't even look they hit you with this one you do want to buy that sticks from me <laughs> you do want to buy this. that's what politicians are like all right and you guys already know why I hate umpires why all right you gotta dump on my man Sanath we haven't even got to the video yet and you already are getting our Sri Lankan audience to dislike at a rapid pace listen listen if they were gonna dislike it was when daddy was up here going off because the 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 West Indies just whitewashed Sri Lanka in that ODI series no all jokes aside though Bro, every single one of those runs came down to the last, last over. It wasn't like any of those were. I'm like, this is so stressful, bro. And you hear all the acolytes of Sri Lanka. They're really, really, uh, were a really, really good team, you know, back in the day. They're rebuilding their franchises. But I tell you what, there's fight. There is fight in Sri Lanka. They do not give up. And when you're in a game with them, it's a dog fight. Every single, uh, bro, I'm like, you go, I hate Hasarang. Is it Hasaranga? How do you say Hasaranga? Bro, just do, take a day off. Have a bad day. Ask Johnny Verso what that's like, all right? Take a bad day. Just say it. Another drive by there. Look at it. Like, man, I'm going to have to answer so many emails. Wow. I'm just saying, the dude seems never to have a bad day. That, that's actually a credit to Hasaranga. That's actually a credit to him. But uh, you know what? Uh, 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 I had not watched Sri Lanka play until recently. And again, just being honest, I expected the West Indies as the former uh, champs in T20, world, world champs, bringing back Chris Gale and those guys to absolutely obliterate them. Yeah, they beat them 2-1, but it was a tight 2-1. Every game was tight, Nick. And again, it's like nail-biting. You, you, I, I must have aged at least a year over this last week, watching them in ODI and T20, because every single by the West Indies doesn't know how to win comfortably, or is it, it, it's just you know what? 
let's bring it down to the last ball or the last two balls. And I'm like, oh, God, for the love of Pete. Really? Really? Oh, I'm telling you, I've been drinking a lot of tea and a lot of what's that stuff that calm you down? Chamomile tea? A lot of chamomile. It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> wow. So we, right there. we are going to check out this legend, no matter what Gabe says. This legend right here. We're going to see a performance of his in 2002, 2003, like I mentioned earlier. And this is a match where I'm trying to look at all the different dates several years before he retired. So he's probably still in peak form and peak conditioning. Don't forget, if you like cricket videos, go ahead and subscribe to Boring Reviews because we give you them weekly. If you want more, if one week is not enough, one a week then check out Cricket for Americans because we have a whole bunch of videos on there for you to enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe over there. But we're going to check this out from Robolinda 2 in 3, 2, 1. The cricket ground, game six of the VB series. It's gone for that should be four. Wow, that, that was a nice the form right there. Nice stroke. That's the way he likes to play. Fine stroke. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, he uh, he's a left-hander. Oh, wow. that's better. He's so got that that's a, that's his offside. That and it was a loose delivery. It's again, he likes short outside off offside. Stumble. And nicely struck for four. That was nice. Well, and, he's had a really nice and easy he's stroke. A couple of boundaries now to that area. It's his and when area. you can wait so long to play a ball, you know what I mean? You're gonna be a much better hitter. Brett Lee. The franchise. I'm telling you, man. Robotic. Ooh. He's butchered that one through the offside field. That's the Jaisuria. Bro, Jaisuria. 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 All three of his shots so far that we've seen. Years in a very attacking frame of he is not trying to do too much, but he is killing the ball. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice try. <laughs> if you want a bit of uh, injury to add to the insult. Nice. Was that Shane uh, Watson? I don't know. Was that Shane Watson? Watson? The perfect Shane Watson to me. This was a little tighter than the event. Yep, this is the one. He didn't quite time properly. Said, it hits high. Ah! The Hogs left oh, hand. there was a drop. Breast, and then follows it up with a little wider, a little shorter. Jayasuri Doesn't that always forward. happen? Uh, yes. Almost straight into the esky. <laughs> yes. Six, Brad Hogg. Right ready. after a drop, they made you pay. If you're going to do that short of yes. the batsman, that's the side to do it. I don't think that was Shane Watson. That, that, that looks like Shane Watson to me. Again, so My gosh. This should be one of the more Look at the bowler. Oh, that? I mean, the bowler Shane Watson. I thought he was yeah, the bowler Shane Watson. Yeah, the bowler. My bad. He's got the blonde locks. Right. Well, we know that's one of his favorite shots. Ooh. He's played a few of them. He's so strong square of the wicket. And uh, just listening to Ian Chappell a little earlier, we talked about him having given away oh. the full shot well, he's kept a lot of the others and that came pretty much off the middle of the right back over his head oh, good, bro. at playing the ball so late perfectly placed yes oh man that's, that's a close cool. part of the ground they look like they're on the far side of the pitch the far pitch over there so that went a long way 6.2 the run rate he crushed Fantastic. that leg side bro yeah but safe and into the gap they may get there. No, they don't. That's beautiful batting. There's a fine man on the sweep and a forward square leg. Face superbly. And uh, there'll be a lot of cricketers <laughs> Look at that. watching this. Who man. To it. Look at this ODI match. They got the opening partnership beautiful still in there. Just got it wide of the For man. For 174. Oh, holy cow. Just got it wide of the man. The outfield as well. Back to the fence for a it's Not a good catch. day to ball. Oh man, look at that sweep. That's nicely placed. That'll be four more. Yeah, sorry, that's boundary number eight to go with his oh. two sixes. And he really is turning his summer around. Baggy here. jersey on. Oh, shot. oh crushed it. Ah. And oh, that. I think it may have gone all the way. Go get my ball. Russell Tiffin was just having a check. Look at yeah, that's over the fence six. on the full. Wow. He's got the gap again. That'll be Jeez. four more. Superb batsmanship. And it just shows 
if you are out of form and you do make the decision to go out there and fling everything at it you need a bit of luck with you bro that was a costly drop by Brad Hogg and now they're now at 197 bro that was a costly drop and a four oh that's devastating he's got that in a gap as well man he stopped oh no he didn't stop it <laughs> that's it oh wow 100 for Jaya Surya only 87 balls faced a brilliant innings here at the SCG Jeez, Louise. just what his country needed from him I mean there's no wicket so his partner's got to have close to 100 himself first if he got 100 is 202, right? Simple math would say, unless there's some leg buys. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm a certain there's some leg buys in there somewhere. Let me see. Yeah, strike rate. Uh, wow, 10, 4, 3, 6, 87 balls. Oh, oh goodbye. There's a man out there. It's over his head as well. Oh, can't buy a catch. Was the fieldsman. That's the fourth six for Jaya Surya. 12 from the over. None for 210. Really think a bit and play odd little strokes like that one. Oh. Well, there's an odd shot. Reverse it. No oh. as well, and it's four. So that'll be five more. And it's a no ball to add insult to injury, Nick. In two goes. Wow. Oh. oh. Well, this one's he's like finally as it did earlier on but there was no no ball for oh he's pumped so up finally, he's like finally the partnership has been broken he's threatened to get him out a couple of times already shane watson dropped by hog at 26 dropped by bevan last over this time full that's a beautiful ball. Not a bad six they've been devoid of plans so far watson breaks through Jason dropped at march. 26 holy cow century well supported well appreciated by this wow. huge sri lankan contingent here at the scg Look at the flags everywhere wow 122 I, like oh. I like their flag it's got a cool flag um so it's interesting that now we're focusing on the 122 right but here i come being negative the one that he got out on, I don't know if that was maybe a little bit of overconfidence and I'm going to do a different shot here. I'm going to go back a little bit. I think it's going to, he's going to try to get closer more on the inside so I can have a nice shot and a nice stroke. Or if Watson finally set him up in that over because right. you saw that ball, it hit the ground and it went towards the wicket. It was not in line towards the wickets whatsoever. Right. And so he had, from the batsman point of view, it's going to come over – at like my side right here. So let me just take a step back so I can get a full extension, get a full stroke. Little did he know that that ball was going to spin off the pitch, turn off the pitch and go right for the edge of that wick. That was a beautiful ball right there. Um, but I don't want to focus too much on that, but I know you love yourself with some bowling. How did you see that, that wicket right there, that ball go? You know, I was thinking to myself and they didn't show, bro, I didn't see one bouncer. And I get it. Shane Watson was there most of the time. <laughs> this guy and loves a bouncer. I'm just saying, Shane Watson was there, right? So Shane Watson is not, he's a spinner. But you're telling me none of the pace guys came in and gave him some sweet chin music? I, you know what I mean? I would have. I would, you know what I mean? You're going to wear one, at least one, cousin, because you're way too comfortable. And, and even, you know, where's a Yorker? I didn't see any Yorkers. Give me a couple. I might have seen one Yorker that I think he still pulled for a six, bro. I'm like, how did he hit that? That was super low. But he waits yeah. so late to play the ball. Um, he he waits so late to play the ball. You saw a lot of his sh shots, especially early on, were to the offside. And I think that being able to go the other way with the ball makes you a better hitter because you can wait longer and see it. You know what I mean? It is dangerous, right? Because if you don't defend early, you know you could lose your stumps. But um, it does uh, make you a better hitter. And you know you got to feel for Shane Watson. They dropped him at what twenty seven. And then uh, basically 90, what, 95 runs later? Yeah, that's a conversation you got to have in a locker room, by the way, with your teammate. Like, bro, you cost me 95 runs. 90, oh, you cost the team 95 runs. Really? Really? Like, oh, you know, drops are part of the game. And you know what's funny, Nick? Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe you tell me because – People can tell us, oh, you know, drops aren't that common. We're seeing a lot of drops, bro. Every test match, I see at least one or two big, I mean, huge drops. ODI, doesn't matter, T20. 
And people are saying, yeah, that's just recent this year. Maybe the guy's out of form because of COVID. All right, it's been a while since COVID. And I mean, we, I get it. We're still in COVID, but they're not out of form. And every time I seem to watch these older cricket videos, don't we see a lot of drops, Nick? Is it like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm just saying. Listen, I'm, this is, this is my theory. We are watching, whether it's an entire match or part of a match, we're watching it through, right? And the people that join us on CFA, which we definitely appreciate, they are watching it with us too. So maybe, maybe, because I know we have a lot of cricket fans, but maybe casual watcher fans, maybe it's been a long time since they've watched match, you know, the entire match from beginning to end. And right. maybe they would come in and out. They'd go out and get themselves a drink or whatever. they go run to the store. And maybe they missed some of those drops. I don't know. And maybe, you know, moving on, you forget about some of those drops. But when you got someone like my man Gabe here is definitely going to remind you about it. It's hard to forget those. We see a lot of drops. We definitely see a lot of drops, especially at like the worst times possible. Always in hindsight, worst times possible. But you're right about Sanat's approach there with the offside. I don't care what sport it is, whether it's cricket or baseball. If you can go the other way, you're going to have a job. You're going to have a job in that sport for a long time to come because it's it's so difficult to do, first of all, and it's so valuable. It just changes the whole approach. I'm not saying the fielder are changing with each ball, but it makes the captain, it makes the fielding placement think like, oh, he's going to go that way. So maybe we lean a little more. We throw an extra um, fielder in that position, and then he goes on the onside. And they're like, oh, man, why do we do that? But, again, I noticed it with the first, the first ball that he hit. Such an easy stroke. I mean, and this guy is a lefty, so that's my best lefty. <laughs> Such an easy stroke where it's just mechanical. It's the same thing every single time. Obviously, he's going to change it here or go high and change the elevation of the bat, depending on where the ball bounces. But still, so nice and easy. In baseball, we call that a sweet swing, a sweet stroke. And he definitely has that where he's just using all parts of his body synonymously together to where he can get the most power on that without having to like swing out of his shoes. Like my hero Rashad Pont does. Um, <laughs> he's got those skills. And to me, that was the most impressive and not just that, but to make the guy pay to your point with the drop. Okay. I'm going to get a six on the next one. I'm going to go a little higher and I'm going to push it to the offside. Wow. Impressive. Bro. Just thinking if I'm Shane Watson, I'm at the very minimum looking at uh, whoever. I forgot who dropped it out there. I think they said it was uh, Hayden. I'm like, are you serious right now, bro? Are you like, because the very next ball is six, right? The very next ball. And to your point earlier, when you're talking about six, you want to talk about uh, 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 drops, not sixes, drops. You want to talk about miss most unopportune drops? How about making your debut on a test team that's almost impossible to crack because they've got, you know, you mean the T20 a, squad? Yeah, on a T20 squad that they got a plethora of players, right? Or on an international team, I should say. And your debut is one drop and a drop taken that, by the way, was also bobbled. Don't tell me drops aren't coming. I see them too often, guys. Come on. I see them too often. But it doesn't matter what we think. It matters what you think. Let us know on, on, on in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you are noticing the trend of drops, uh, um, especially right now in, in the play right now. And uh, let us know if you like this video. Big, please give us a big thumbs up. Okay. If I have any politicians who actually watch me, I was joking. I do. I do like politicians. <laughs> what? You're out of control. I took it back. I took it yeah. back. Ladies and gentlemen, he's out of control. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. We know all things.